Welcome to this tutorial. Let's talk about the sequencer module in HeavyM2. In HeavyM2, you can divide your project in sequences. In each of them, you can add different effects, media, or even completely change the structure of your drawing. These sequences are organized in this timeline called the sequencer. From there, you can quickly set the order in which the sequences are played, but also their duration. And other cool stuff we'll see later in this tutorial. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. In this project, we have our mapping faces that we have divided into groups to add cool group effects. Now, let's imagine that we want to add different effects or even media to this mapping. To do this, simply create a new sequence by clicking on the plus button of the sequencer. As you can see, your new sequence contains only the faces that compose your mapping. If you want to keep your groups and effects, duplicate the preview sequence with right click and duplicate. In this case, we want to add different effects in different faces to create variety in the mapping. Start by moving the faces into new groups. Then, you can add any effects or media you want. If you want to know more about HeavyM effects, check out this tutorial. Now, let's say we want a last new sequence, but just with the eyes of the cat. For this, we need to create a new sequence with a new map. As a reminder, maps are the set of shapes that compose your mapping. If you are not yet familiar with maps, please follow our drawing tutorial. Okay, we're now ready to organize our show. Let's drag the sequence 3 and drop it between the others. Then, click on the play button under the sequences to see the results. Nice, but that's a bit too fast, isn't it? By default, sequences are 2 seconds long, but you can change the duration of all sequences from the sequencer. Here, you can choose to express the duration of your sequences either in units of time or in beats. Let's stay in time mode for this project and slightly increase the duration of the sequences. All of our sequences will now have a duration of 5 seconds, but you can also set the duration individually. Click on the cog icon of a sequence to open its settings, then simply adjust the duration field. As our sequences are displayed one after the other, you can see that there is a fade between them. This transition is also customizable from the sequence settings. Here, you can change the type of transition by choosing from the list of dedicated shaders. and also set its duration just below. Let's see the results. Just note that these transitions are only for the beginning of a sequence. If you want a transition at the end, just set a new transition at the beginning of the next one. Let's finish this mapping with the final touch. You probably already know that there are effects everywhere in HeavyM. Well, there are also effects on the sequences. 
To find them, go back to the sequences settings. Then, click on the plus button. You now have a range of different effects. Unlike the group effects, which affect the faces of a group. These shaders will affect the whole sequence. The hardest part is choosing. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more help resources or visit our help center to learn more about Heavy M2.